mountain drive vlog today. Got to do a mountain drive vlog. All right, on a little mountain drive here. So I'm with Brooke right now, and we're just talking, we're chatting here, and she said she likes this drive a lot. She likes the little twisty roads, and it's actually an enjoyable drive for her, but she's not a car person. So I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm gonna teach her how to drive stick tomorrow and I, I, I was like, what if you like stick? What if you like driving a stick? What if you actually enjoy it? So I was talking about it. And I said, you know what car I really like, but I'll never own one. And I know it's immature, Miatas. I really like Miatas a lot, but I would never own one. But that's what I call, it would be cool if my girl had one car. That's a nice term right there. Miatas are, Miatas are cool like, it would be cool if my girlfriend had one car, or wife had one car. So how come you wouldn't have one? It's a girl's car. Well, what makes it a girl's car? It just has that stigma. <laughs> <laughs> it always had that stigma, but I remembered the Fiat 124 Roadster is a Miata. And you know, it's instead of a girl's car, people should look at it as a Fiat, like a, a crappy car, even though it's a Miata. Nah, honey, uh, Miata's always had girl car stigmas. And you know, the Miata fans, I know what Miata fans say, yeah, girls love it when I drive it, you know, that's their thing. Yeah. Girls love it when I have it and they want to sit with me. That's the defensive uh, thing Miata drivers say. No offense to Miata drivers. I like Miatas, you know, I'm not trying to offend Miata drivers, you know, it's just, I just, I wouldn't want one. I think they're too little, say the guy who has a little car, but I don't know. I think when it comes to like an actual sports car, I like, you know, big V8, you know, and that's just how I feel. This is a nice drive. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is a, okay, so we're driving this. Okay, so this is what prompted me to start this vlog right now. And I'm like, God, what if you like driving a stick? What if you actually, you know, like driving a stick? And you need a better car for this because uh, she drives a Lincoln right now. Lincolns are cool. It's a Crown Victoria, a fancy Crown Victoria, but they're not Canyon Carvers. I drive a Lincoln Signature. It's a Lincoln Signature. Car. Yeah, it's a cop car. It's a Crown Victoria. It's a boat on wheels. Yeah, but you say you enjoy these twists. I do. So what if you like driving stick? What if you have to get a sports car? I think Miatas would be safe. But here's what I was thinking. If I ever became like super successful or won the lottery, I think I wouldn't get you a Miata. I would get you a one, two, four Spider. You know, because you know, I'm, of course, I'm. I kind of like Fiats now. But um, what would be a beastly car? could drive safely like I wouldn't want you to do this in a Corvette or a Viper so that's the question what's a beastly car that could do this drive safely but you know it has like way more power than a Miata or a 124 Roadster so that's the question now why wouldn't you want me to drive a Corvette around here yeah well I've, obviously I don't have the experience because so. a lot of people well modern Corvettes are safer they have a uh, stability control so they will cut power here like if you like the newer corvettes have driver aids for example if you take this this turn with too much power yeah the computers will correct you and everything okay. but i think they're kind of tail happy you know like oh, is it rear, rear wheel drive rear wheel drive yeah they're kind of tail happy and I, I wouldn't want you like spinning off and killing yourself off the mountains right. you know the thing they that has always uh, made Miatas so uh, deemed the uh, beginner sports cars are very uh, predictable in what they're gonna do like a Corvette or a Viper or something they kind of tend to have that unpredictable reputation like a Miata see this turn yes. you know I'm not familiar with this drive so I'm not going too crazy right now but have you ever took taken this turn and you felt t you heard tire squeal oh yeah that, Lincoln. that's your that's your warning to <laughs> there you go and how fast were you going? Gosh, uh, I wasn't going 50. Like, you have, I think I was actually probably going maybe 40-ish. Okay, so notice at 50, this car is not squealing. Yeah. Because, you know, it's more of a handler than your Lincoln. But what that squeal means, that's a warning that you're reaching the limits of adhesion. Oh, yeah, I know, I slowed down. Yeah, so 
what, what are we at right now? 40. 42. 42 scenes. Still no squeal. And I'm not looking for the squeal right now because I don't know this turn. I don't know this road too well yet. But that squeal is your like, oh, better back off. You know, that's your warning. Oh, yeah. So Miatas tend to have that warning. Like, you know, you know, it's like, okay, I'm, right. I'm reaching the limit. But by unpredictable, like Vipers and Corvettes, by unpredictable, it will kill you. You yeah. know, you will spin out and kill yourself. And unfortunately, I have to ride my brakes when I'm on this drive in my Lincoln. Yeah. It's so whiny and yeah. going downhill. I am fine. See, honey, I think this car is perfect. I wanted to teach her how to drive <laughs> stick today, but we're kind of starting late. Yeah. But I really wanted her to try this drive with this car. But this car is great. But the reason, like, I tell you, like, I would want you to have a Miata. You know, of course, I'm kind of vicariously living through you. Because, like I said, I do like them. You want one, but you feel like it's too girly for you. Yeah. And then uh, Fiat Roadsters haven't been long out long enough to be cheap. But Miatas have been around forever where you could get a, a good one for, like, five or $6,000. But, you know, not one, two, four spiders. Like, you know, they haven't been around long enough to be that cheap price right. you know what I mean but uh, the reason why I say like if you do enjoy driving stick and you love this drive like this is like pleasurable for you the reason why I say I would want you to have a Miata or something along those lines to me it's a true sports car you know it's a roadster it's two-door you know it's just I'm a little hard on a Miata and like I said it's a little immature I know but I do recognize it's a real sports car. To me, even though it's not like super high powered, it's a true sports car to me, you know? Yeah. Because it's a roadster. This is not, this little Fiat is not a true sports car to me. It's an economy car posing as a sports car. So, so do you think a Miata would take these turns like better than this car? Better than this car. Yeah. Even better. I, honestly, honey, are you like, what do you think? Going 50, pretty good? Yeah. Because you said you're Lincoln squealing all over the place, oh, right? Oh, yeah, I got to get slow through this park. See, and what do you think about the speeds right now? Like, are you getting panicky yet? Uh, yeah, I'm panicky because I know you don't know this uh, road. Okay, so, oh, but, okay. I'll slow down, I'll slow down. No, 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 I'm not like, I'm not like you can slow down. <laughs> we don't want the cliffs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, honey. I'm gonna keep you safe. <laughs> well, notice there's no squeals. No. See, that's where I listen for. I, li I listen for that limit. <laughs> I listen for that limit of adhesion, but. See, you kind of see where I'm getting at? Because yeah. you say you're doing this with your Lincoln and you're squealing all over the place, but you love this, right? Oh, yeah. So now you could kind of see my mentality. Like, I talked to this about her when we were just friends still. Like, we were talking about hobbies. And, you know, the car guy in me, even though she's not a car guy, I said, God, if you really like her, you should get a Miata or something, you know? Have a, like, really enjoy it. Because, like, you know, Lincoln's a nice car. It's a cruiser, though. It's a big cruiser. Big cruiser. That's a big cruiser, but it's like, man, if you really like this drive, you should have a car that is made for this. And a Miata would do this even better than this car. See, let's take this turn fairly fast. See how this car, the main criticism of this car is it's tippy. It feels a little tippy, right? It does, actually. Because it's a tall car, but think about the Miata. It's a, lo it's a lot uh, lower. It's lower, yeah. so it's going to be more planted feeling. Like, believe it or not, I kind of, I still feel, even though there's like a slight tippy feel, right now when I take these turns I don't feel unsafe you know what I mean right. I don't feel like there's any impending doom it's just tippy because of the of the uh, you know the geometry of the car it's kind right. of a tall car but a Miata is even more planted than this so what am I doing this at 49. 50 49 yeah. okay so a Miata could probably take this turn five miles per hour faster maybe even 10 oh, before yeah. you hear a squeal you know and we haven't got squeal yet no. But well, you said, okay, what's the Lincoln doing here? Squealing? Uh, if I was doing 30s, yeah. I, you know, I, normally I'm taking this about 30. So, honey, look. 17 miles per hour faster. There's squeal. Got a little. Yeah. There you go. I wanted a little squeal. But what, that's 47. So, that little squeal told me, see, this person is not enthusiastically no, driving scared. this. Yeah, they're scared. This is fear right here. Yeah. Oh, they're taking this slow. Yeah. But that was a good run. Yeah. Okay. Honey, do you see what I'm getting at I do. with the Miata? I think I should get me a sports car so I can drive this. It's more fun, yeah. honey. You deserve it. But do you, okay, but the first time in here, do you see the speed difference between this and your Lincoln? Oh, totally. Yes. <laughs> and how unsafe? Be honest. Does it feel really unsafe or uh, kind of unsafe? Well, I'd like to say a, a scale of one to five. Mm -hmm. It feels safety. 
okay so you felt it still felt pretty planted just a little tippy but yeah. did you see what it took to get for me to get tire squeal yeah. finally right i had to really you know push it but but you said i was going what a good 20 miles per hour faster faster than yeah than what i take my car exactly because it's made for I it i mean if i link it actually believe it or not i mean because i think it's in such a big car it actually feels safe it of course of course it, but, I, but i can't take it fast like, I but you know it. if you yeah. overdo it you're gonna oh, spin okay. it yeah. of course the link it it's a big car yeah and i'm pretty sure when you hear that squeal if you're a good driver mm -hmm. you know like no, no, no. A good driver could probably get more out of it. They're probably going to drift around the turns. Oh, I've drifted. There you go. <laughs> On accident. Yeah. But see, a good driver will probably go faster in the Lincoln, but they're going to drift around. But, you know, not everyone does that. So the reason, like I said, like a little roadster is because you're not, you know, it's, you got a bigger net. Like the Lincoln, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you're like really good, you could do the Lincoln doing 70 on this, but you got to be good, oh, good. Oh, gosh. No, but you got to be good. Yeah. You know, you got to know your shit. But, um, but for the average driver, like I said, if you had like a Miata or something, you could rip through those turns like, you know, 20 miles per hour than your Lincoln. Oh, totally. And feel safe, you know, like planted, like it feels like you're on rails. Yeah. See, like you're gonna this is the difference between, and this is the difference between enthusiastic drivers and, you know, just casual drivers. Yeah, they're not from California, obviously. It's still, still a nice drive. It's a nice drive. Oh, I know. Nice, nice drive. That's one of my pet peeves when I'm on this car, though. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty impatient with people that are super slow in front of me, even in my Lincoln. Mm -hmm. I really hope you like driving stick, though. <laughs> but they. I think I do too, actually. Huh? I, I hope so too. Damn, honey, if you like this drive, oh, oh my god, you need a, you know. You need a car built for this sort of driving, especially if this is one of your hobbies. Yeah. And a Miata will get better fuel economy than a Lincoln. Yeah, He's smiling though, the guy in front of us is smiling. He's enjoying this drive. Oh, he's enjoying it. Just, honestly, though, they're just not confident. But they, no. they, they probably don't know this area either. Yeah. I mean, I think the very first time I drove this, I, I went pretty slow. But this is my first time. Next yeah. time around, I'll go 10 miles per hour. <laughs> I'll do like 60 around these turns. I just need to learn like what's around the corner. Now, I want to do this drive in my Corvette like so much. This car is fun, but geez. I can imagine your Corvette, you know. Would be probably... angry because it would be yeah. reverberating off these hills. I mean, I can't really, I want to roll the window down, but we're not. Well, we'll get some rolled window down action right now. I mean, I'm going to catch them so quick. I know. There's no one behind us. Yeah, yeah. No one behind us. But let's see how it sounds. It's reverberating. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> I just wanted to hear some. I just wanted to hear some. Some exhaust. Here's a good turn. What are you doing in your Lincoln in this turn? About 30. Okay, I got I got eight over you. Oh yeah. You get an average of 10 over me, I would say. First timer. Yeah. I want to get 15 over Corvette 20, 30 over. <laughs> then you hit someone like this <laughs> and call call for help. I know. No. <laughs> this is an expensive tow home. Heck yeah. And then what if you can't get like cell phone reception? You're screwed. Yeah, no. So be careful people. Anyway, we were talking, we're just talking cars. It's a casual talk about car video. Uh, yeah, and we're just talking casually. Like I was talking about like if I won the lottery since she likes Lincoln's, what's up? I'll get a Rolls Royce or a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. A Bentley, Bentley if I was rich. And then if I became like kind of successful, God, what would I get her? It's a big car. They don't make big cars anymore. No. I think Buick still makes big like sized cars. That's it. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, if I was wealthy, your big car would be a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. And I would get you like, you know, Fiat Roadster slash Miata as a beginner mountain car. Then I would really have to figure out, you know what? Oh, it doesn't come in stick though, but 
and you probably would go crazy and I don't like these cars but I do recognize how good they are Nissan GTR it's like a beast of a car all-wheel drive but god they don't come in stick unfortunately no, no. so what if I end up loving stick loving stick so a beastly I'm car for the mountains what for the I mountains mean? I would just say practice on a beginner car get a Corvette <laughs> <laughs> or a Viper or if I was wealthy, I mean, do you like any of the Italian exotics? Do you think any of the fancy Italian sports cars look cool? But none of them come in stick. So it would be Corvette, it would be, I get you the okay. ultimate Corvette, or a Viper. The Maseratis make anything? They don't, they don't make stick. They have a big car that's nice. Like a mid-sized big car that I saw that. Now you would need a, I'd get you that anyway if I won the lottery, but mountain car, honey, you just go big Viper or Corvette. Okay. <laughs> that's a mean, angry, overpowered car for the mountains the the current one they still make it in stick it's the last of the stick corvettes i get you that i get me one too his and hers i would have you uh i know let's get off the turn off it's right there yeah i would have you practice on uh yeah this is the water coming down front you see oh nice that's cool that's why people stop here that's you know we'll, we'll stop down the way back yeah all right, so that's a little car talk. If you sat through it, I know at least four people will sit through this. 